for today to do a radiator change. Uh, this radiator, I got a new one in the box there. This one is leaking up the top, so I can't get keep pressure. So, um, should be fairly simple, I would think, but we'll see what happens. So, first of all, let the car run, just get a little bit of heat. No pressure. Got the cap. Uh, got a drain system here. See if I get the drain over here. Okay. I should drain while we're doing the rest of the stuff here. So, we're going to take apart all this. Um, little clips here. So, I had a, uh, when you're driving this, it keeps going down. We'll keep the fluid level off. up. So I found out that there was a leak at the top of the radiator. So, uh, anyways, I wasn't going to fix it first, but, um, the radiator's cheap. 100 bucks. Well, 90 something bucks Canadian. Um, 90 something dollars Canadian delivered to my door on eBay. So, and there's more than one, uh, more than one, uh, supplier for that. So, uh, hey, what the hell for 100 bucks? So, of course, with the radiator leaking uh, pressure, you're not getting much heat. Uh, it's really cutting back on the heat that it can generate, so... Uh, plus, it, was, it wasn't leaking a lot, but a little bit. Oh, shoot. Oops, lost a the screw there. Um, so, yeah, I was losing a little bit of heat because it couldn't uh, feel pressure. So... You said it's a hundred and... Uh, Box, I need some box today delivered. Um, not a bad, uh, so it makes a lot of uh, work. Makes it not bad for, uh, the box is not uh, much. I'll figure three or four hundred bucks. Cheaper than I thought, so why not? And it keeps filling a little bit of coolant and you get the steam up there all the time too. So let's see. Oh, I'm disconnecting the uh the electric cooling fans inside here now. So it's easy to take this out in this car, so that's good. I guess up top here. So, this thing's enough here. Oh yeah. Let's take this out. Put that fall down there. Okay, so that should be good. Okay. Okay. 
ี้ครับมานะOn there now. A big road trip coming up next week, so got all this week to uh, make sure uh, everything's good with this. Maybe. 
So I have to take off this top mount. Mack the holes, kill them. Okay, that's not even tight. Oh, loose. Oh, so I gotta take these off again. Chop, right back. There's here, sort of two and a half, I guess. So, um, go to the condenser and the uh, air conditioning first, and then, then the actual car engine uh, radiator secondly. And in between that, there's a transmission cooler, so a lot of stuff requires heat or uh, cooling. So, okay, that's on, that's on, that's on. Okay, hoses are on, fans are on, plugged in, tap is closed. Okay, now, oh, uh, da, 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 da. oh I'm gonna put my hose back on, right? Overflow. Actually, this one don't fit very good. I'm gonna cut. Cause that's, so the way this is designed, when the car is running and heats up, if it builds up too much pressure, it'll push it back into this overflow. Um, but then when the car cools off, the radiator cools off, it's like a one-way check valve there. It opens up and it'll suck in fluid from the overflow. Suck it in as the engine and everything cools. Things contract, when it, things contract when it cools. So you want a good fit on that. You don't want any holes in that because it won't suck fluid in. Always keep the, the uh, radiator topped up. Uh, that's what the design of this uh, um, overflow system, right? So there to catch, um, catch excess if it's um, overheat. And there to uh, keep the radiator topped up in a situation where you have a leak or whatever. So... And this was a little loose because it was old and sanded and it's cold, a little cool inside right now and it's not, uh, rubber's not going back to, uh, thanks to snow. Oh. Tightening my hand out there. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, now this kind of holds. Holds the car, pop the car together. Just put it in the frame, right? Top of the front clip. Put a scoop of bolts. Oh boy. There we go. Huh. We had a little bit of sun, so things are a little bit warm. Now the snow is a little bit frozen on there. Okay. Now I'm gonna start going into more coolant, get that top up, I might get the engine going, get things circulating. Okay, let's get the two big bolts in here first. Not big bolts, but big in comparison to screws. Get those started. Last one screw, but that's okay. Not that important. Falls out, I'll get it. I can put a wood screw in it. It's just rubber, plastic, plastic. Two on this side, three over here, lost the middle one. Big deal. I'm gonna put in the, uh, down there. 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 Okay, I'm going to get it going, get the heat built up, leave the cap off with the air escape, when it gets warm, I'm going to go underneath and put that shroud back on that I didn't need to take off, and by that time, by that time it should be, uh, get some circulation going.
It's going to be over float. I think that was pretty much emptied out. Number four. Tonight and check it, and uh, we'll see from there. And uh, yeah, this should go down, should pull from here. Uh, just keep an eye out next couple of these, and uh, I think that's it. Well done. That's the job, I think. I hope. Anyhow, that was a uh, radiator change in a uh, 2003 Dodge uh, Grand Caravan. So, uh, now I'll just show you some of the points here. So, these were the clips that we had to put on, from the, uh, they're in a bag. This is where the um, uh, fan. Cooling fan is the inside here now. The cooling fan sits in here, sits in here, bolts it up here. This particular radiator had a leak up here, right up tight, up top here, Summers. Uh, and there's a top hose, of course, this is the drain, this uh, holds in the mount there, and then there's the lower hose, and then the other fan on the other side, it's over here, and uh, yeah, and this is, this is where the, uh, so I'll turn this around. So outside you have the condenser for the air conditioning, so it actually sits in here. I thought there was a bolt here, like up here, and, and the top sits on here as well. Uh, so it, it sits down in here in a rubber and then it bolts up here. So I thought the rubber mounts in the bottom. So yeah, so the radiator comes fully complete except for the, the holes up top for that little, that little um, flap or whatever. No big deal, that was a two minute job. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned for more repairs. Okay, here you go. This is the radiator I bought. I actually got it for 90 bucks. I made an offer, got it for $90 instead of 92. And it says here, Mississauga, but uh, I think there's a depot in western canada so i'm not too far from there from the major city in northern uh, canada so it came from there so uh yeah this is the radio this is a good deal